Hi friends, so in this video I am going to explain the working of JIT checkout. So let me run JIT branch. JIT branch command will list all the local branches. So right now there is only one local branch master. JIT branch with the hyphen R option list all remote branches. So these are the remote branches. So now let me run JIT checkout let me select one branch so when you run this command actually it creates a new local branch and point that local branch to this remote branch so this is the name of the remote branch let me run this command we can read this message branch stable train setup for what to track remote branch stable train from origin that is what actually happens when you run git checkout the same command we can run uh, with the iphone iphone track option actually both are same So when you run this command, so you can I am using uh, same remote here, but here I am specifying I can, I can track. So let me remove this slash. Okay. So you are saying uh, this branch already exists, so it not able to create a uh, new local branch with that name so in that case, case what you can do is you can use hyphen b option and you can give a new name for your local branch uh, for example b1 so this is your new local branch but it actually point to this remote branch so let me execute it you can read this message you can see branch b1 setup to track remote branch stable train so here i created a new local branch b1 which point to this remote branch actually this command we can this is a this command is very uh, complex right so actually the same thing what this command do we can only run JIT checkout remote branch name, but in the back in the background, actually it create a new local branch and point to the remote branch. So that is a difference uh, between this command and this command, and the new JIT version support this command. You can you need to run only this one, but in the old JIT you have to run this long command so i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel please like and share the video